As the story goes, long ago, somewhere between one and three Catholic saints, all named Valentine, were martyred for their faith, probably. And how do we honor their sacrifice? By lubing up our girlfriends and trying to get laid. From a religious perspective, this holiday seems tacky and gross. Of course, the problems don't stop there. This unabashed consumerist celebration pushed on us by the greeting card industry almost seems engineered to make people feel bad. People in relationships are pressured to perform, which is emotionally and financially stressful, and also saps any spontaneity out of it. Meanwhile, single people get to stand in the corner and feel lonely and depressed. The price of red roses skyrockets along with CO2 emissions and waste from gold mining. Ultimately, Valentine's Day is an absolute mess of a holiday, and I hate it, and it's terrible, and it sucks. Isn't that right, my beautiful and intelligent girlfriend? I don't need any presents this year! Just spend all your money on video games! Isn't she a gem? I, however, have invented my own personal way of celebrating on this day, and in line with Catholic tradition, it involves making myself absolutely miserable. Chubby Cherub is a game for the Nintendo Entertainment System, developed by Toze, published by Bandai, and released in 1986. The original Japanese version was based on the popular manga Kyutaro the Ghost, but all characters from the franchise were replaced when it was ported to the States. So in Chubby Cherub, you play as this fat little baby with angel wings. I'm not sure who thought that was a good idea. I don't know where producers keep getting this notion that people like babies. Nobody likes babies. Your goal in this game is to eat all the food and kill every dog. You attack with something called the Gao Gao Beam, which is just throwing pink hearts at the enemies. And by enemies, I mean somebody's dog. You had me at Halo! Whenever you Looks grab- like this whole town has gone to the dog! Whenever you grab food, Chubby just unhinges his jaw like a serpent and swallows it whole. Halfway through every level, there's a part where you can't continue until you gorge yourself on enough food to feed a family of five. And then you have to eat a tiny computer. Hey look, a jelly donut. Chubby Cherub- bee. Whoa, did that let a bee just come out of my mouth? Gee, I gotta go see a doctor. Chubby Cherub can fly. I actually didn't find that out until I'd been playing for years. These old games really expect you to keep the instruction manual forever. The play control in this game is awful, by the way, which is strange for a game that lets you fly. But you have a flight meter that runs down even when you're not flying. Also, you can move side to side when you jump, but if you walk off a ledge, you just drop straight down like EA's stock prices, and you fall agonizingly slow, so you have plenty of time to contemplate the futility of your choices and stew in your own regret. At the end of the stage, Chubby- well, heard of being a Chubby Chatha, but this is ridiculous! At the end of the stage, Chubby flies around smashing in a bunch of windows in this apartment complex. And sometimes a dog comes out to defend its home. And then you kill the dog. Oh look, there's the scientist. You find him and you win the level. I don't know why. I have no idea what's happening in this game. Maybe Chubby Cherub is some kind of hitman. So level 2 has some trees or whatever. I don't know. Who cares? Viewers, allow me to introduce you to Chow Chow. If you have read the instruction manual, then you will know that Chow Chow cannot be killed. Most players would just accept that he is the god of this world and keep their distance. However, some players take this as a challenge. As it turns out, every day at exactly noon, Chow Chow will walk under the castle gate, and it's possible to double-click a gold plaque on the gate, causing it to fall on him. You can also defeat Chow Chow by getting four cherries and four large vegetables. When Chow Chow is after you, getting the fifth large vegetable gives you a clock to stop time. Then you can get a fifth cherry, which lets you get a superstar to make you invincible. Hey, be sure to wash your hands after you touch that pee! 
Why hasn't PETA made a parody of this game? His houses seem hey, you to... think that? My block is worse than my bite! His houses seem to have fallen into a sinkhole. I wonder what's down there. Oh god, I've descended into hell. This is even worse than that time I played Baby Boomer. What's Mr. Popo doing here? Chubby Cherub has ascended to heaven, and it's full of cake. I haven't eaten this much cake since I played Bio Miracle Book Te Upa. Hey, what is that, angel food cake? Later on in the game you get to this level where you're in an upside down mansion. That's kinda neat. In level 12, the final level, you've collected all three sacred treasures and have access to their powers. Now it's time to fight the final boss, Chubby Cherub, the devil himself. And naturally, the devil is a dog. Whew, I did it. With Satan defeated, all that's left is to watch the ending. So it was all your work!